And we're hanging out here with Trayvon Merrigan. Trayvon, we were talking about, me and, me and one of our guys were yesterday, we were talking about what we do to get ready for camp, which I have a feeling is a little bit different than what you do to get ready for training camp. But like that last night before report day, like do you have any like weird traditions or things you do to get your mind right? Um, Not really. I think just, you know, maintaining my body, just trying to stay, you know, on top of the rehab and making sure my legs are good, my body's good to go out there and practice, you know, full speed. So I don't really have anything you know, too special or secrets, but uh, just show up and just do my work. You know, we're talking to you coming off of the first official practice at training camp. So this morning you walk into the building, like just take me through Like, what's it like to come in and know like, yo, today's the first time we're gonna do this for real. No, I felt good, you know, to come back and, you know, like, like you said, first day of training camp, seeing all the guys again, and you being able to hit the field and, you know, just do what we do best, you know, just work on the little things and just co go out there and try to be perfect, like Coach said, so. You know, for the, the people like me, like, just explain, like, what's the biggest difference you think between an OTA practice, a mini camp practice compared to what you guys are doing today and are going to start doing for the next couple of weeks? Um, I feel like we've been treating it the same, you know what I'm saying? But like you said, it's training camp, so everything's kind of elevated. Um, you know, everybody's trying to, you know, do their thing and do it to the best of their abilities. But like OTAs, which is kind of, you know, getting the hang of things, getting the swing of things, learning, you know, the new defense and stuff like that. So I think coming into the training camp, you know, it's, it's kind of elevated, like I said. For you, we're going into year two now, which is already crazy to say, because it feels like we drafted you like three weeks I ago. Know, right? But like, uh, when you think back to your first training camp practice a year ago, and now to today, like, what do you think like the biggest difference is, or is there not one at all? Uh, man, I would just say, um, man, I'd just say like my, my confidence just to go out there and just being able to be vocal, um, communicate, and just listen to the coaches. I'd say like last year, you know, I didn't really know what to do as much, you know, I was still new to things, new to the building, um, new to the way coaches were coaching, how my teammates were talking. Um, so I say this year it was just a big step of just, you know, being able to be comfortable with that. You know, coming off like a pretty nice rookie year for you, do you feel more empowered and comfortable kind of being that, that vocal guy on the back end a little I bit? I do feel comfortable, you know what I'm saying? Um, that's what the coaches are asking me to do is just be a vocal uh, leader, be, be able to communicate all throughout the field, give calls, and, um, you know, I'm trying my best to do that. You know, we heard from the guys yesterday to like officially kick off camp, right? I feel like it felt like the word of the day was expectation, right? Everyone's talking about the expectations of this and the expectations of that. And I felt like really the collective did a really nice job of saying like, yeah, we understand last year was last year and it was a great year in so many ways, but that's kind of done. Like how do you guys as, as a full team, as a full unit, understand like, hey, last year was a great thing to build off of, but this is its own kind of thing yeah. now. Yeah, right, it's the new year. So, I mean, like, like you said, new expectations is just, you know, every, it's a clean slate, you know, everybody hasn't done anything. It's a new year, like I said, so we're just trying to put our best foot forward and just keep working and that's the mentality, so. You know, we, we come off, we were talking about coming into the first practice and when you and I were joking about how hot it was out there this morning, but like, is it nice to feel that energy from the fans? Obviously yeah. we have people in the mix, right? Yeah, you hear yeah. the cheering, like Devontae yeah, yeah. has a catch and everyone goes crazy. Yeah, everybody like, do you guys crazy. enjoy that? Yeah, I love that, you know, it's great energy. You know, the fans energy just brings us energy, so. When we're out there hearing them cheer and stuff, it, it brings us energy. You know, we hear the Raiders, and it just gets us pumped up for the season. So, you know, I was, I was thinking about the kind of safety position when we knew you were coming up, and, and I, it seems like such a unique kind of group on this roster right now, where you have a bunch of youngish guys, right, yourself included, Teamer, John Abram, who I still consider as a young guy, right, right? right? But like, it seems like you guys do have a really nice kind of balance of of dudes who are very much on the ascent and guys who are more established and, and have kind of been here, done that. Like, yeah. well, how, how's that kind of room in the in the early stages? Of this yeah. working out. It's been good, you know, everybody just came in and you know, we all have one mindset and, and, and goal, you know what I'm saying? We just want to be the best DB group we can be, do the little things right, that's really what we've been talking about, showing up on time, making every practice, um, you know, just m making the little things important. Our eyes, our feet, you know, just attention to detail, man, really. You know, I was talking to Hunter a week or two ago and, and just about kind of what he learned, or he was talking about having Devonta here, and yeah, it's great in, in so many ways because I get to kind of learn and watch him kind of do his thing. But I, I wonder, like, flipping the other side of the ball, I imagine that you guys as DBs also get a chance to learn from Devonte and kind of what he brings to this roster too. Yeah, he's been a great leader. Um, you know, just it's a side of football, he's just been, you know, just a good locker room guy all around. You know, that's what we need. Um, and as, as long as we have that, you know, the football will take care of itself. So. It, it seems, at least from like the outside looking in, obviously, because we haven't been in the locker room in a minute, but it seems like there's a really good core nucleus of just good dudes and having a good locker room in 2022. Yeah. Is that how you kind of are gauging it in the early Yeah, I think, I think, like I said, I think that's very important to have a good, cohesive locker room. I mean, if everything isn't, you know, is jumbled up and we got one guy doing this and it's, it's kind of get messy. So to have that, 
camaraderie and stuff is, is pretty important. How important is it to have it from like, like the big dogs on the roster, from a Devontae, from a Darren, from a Derek, from Max, like guys that are gonna be, you know, there's big expectations attached to them, they're really talented guys, but guys that are gonna come in and set the tone just in terms of personality and leadership and, and camaraderie and stuff. Yeah, too. like you said, I think they said it, but um, I think also for them, they, they expect, you know, everybody else to be the same way, you know, um, it's, it's the NFL, it's pro, so uh, I think they expect all of us to do the same thing. You know, just, just be leaders, be pros, and, and do the right thing. And before I get you out of here, I gotta ask you, as one of our resident college football guys, dude, what is going on? What? What is going on in college football? Oh. All these conferences are changing. The <laughs> yeah. Pac-12 is like 14 teams. The yeah. Big 12 is like 19 teams. Like, what is going it's on? Been, it's been crazy. Ever since I left, man, it's I know. been crazy, man. The, the NIL, all that kind of stuff, so. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's a big mess right now. Were so. you the one who was keeping everything together? Because like you said, <laughs> since you left, man, we got the NAL stuff, which know, is great. But but then all the conference realignment, yeah. like I'm gonna miss as a Pac-12 guy. Yeah. I'm gonna miss kind of some of these rivalries. And right, I, as a right, Texas right. as a Texas football dude, yeah. like it's gotta be the same. Yeah, thing, like, right? I, knew, I know there's a couple of new teams in the Big 12. So like you said, just a couple of rivalries that we're missing out on. You know, big games that used to be back in the day. So it's kind of sad to see them go, but. I guess it's the new trend of new move moving forward, the future. So that's all we can know. do, right? Yeah. All we can do is move forward collectively, <laughs> right, right? Well, right. hey man, I appreciate you coming up on the first day of practice. Good luck out there. Thank stay you. cool, stay hydrated, as, as DP, DP says. says and uh, and we'll catch you soon, all right, brother? Yes, sir. Thank you. I appreciate you having me.